Now I know some of you guys might be a little mad at me. I kind of disappeared on y'all, but we are back. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Boo. Wait a second. Where's my hair, bro? I'm not seeing any hair on my shoulders right now. That's right, fellas. Take a look, you <laughs> boy. Finally got a haircut. No one did it. Oh my god, y'all. I know I just got somebody real good. If I just fooled you, you gotta let me know in the comments. But actually, also let me know. Should I get a haircut, guys? Is it finally that time? Lauren keeps asking me to. I think it's about time we donate this shit. But what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boone. Um, again, I am sorry I disappeared on you guys last week. Uh, as I said in a comment, man, someone did pass away in my family. And I do, for real, appreciate all you guys that reached out and sent me messages, man. Um, for real, love you guys. Like, y'all are my family, man. But we gotta get back to this money making. I did feel like I let you guys down by not making a video on the True Religion collab. I didn't even get to use the Chief Keep True Religion fiend bars. Like, I'm so hurt that I missed that week. But we're coming back for a really good one. Drop a like if you guys are excited for this upcoming week. I've seen some people calling it a dead week. Um, pass that gas, my guy. This is actually one of my favorite weeks I've seen from the brand so far this season. And don't worry, you're going to have some crazy weeks coming up. So drop a sub if you're new to the channel. Let's just get into this drop list video. I'm going to help y'all make some money man let's begin okay i have to focus man i just went to like a 30 minute talk with all the discord people about what we're feeling this week if you guys do want to join browser man just hit the link in the description you'll get a free autofill my in-depth resale analysis restock monitors guides to sneaker releases all that great stuff man if you guys are just trying to take resale more seriously we're a great group to get started with let's start talking about the week though obviously it's a tea week i dude some people have been really hating on these t-shirts i've seen some people saying like bro it's the worst t-shirts i've ever seen like dog i have lived through the dark ages of supreme tea weeks if you think this is the worst tea week ever like buddy were you not around for the clown shirt my guy like stop there has been much worse from this brand let's get started though let me know right away your favorite t-shirt designs you guys are about to hear mine uh i guess we'll just start with all the teas for this video so the number one upvoted t-shirt i don't really know why this is the most upvoted right now we have the crash tea by my boy sean cliver now obviously sean cliver a very iconic skateboard graphic designer and just in the skate community like a legend when it comes to design for several skate brands now don't get me wrong it's a cool design without a doubt um i probably wouldn't keep it for myself just because it's i don't know too random this reminds me almost exactly of the jet tee which was a shirt i liked i thought that was a dope design however the resale market fucking hated it because it ended up breaking it's still breaking to this day and i see a kind of similar fate with this crash shirt and unfortunately we're not even gonna know the different t-shirt colorways for this week because as you all know now Europe and the US are releasing at the same time so that's gonna be kind of painful for choosing out tea colorways now I should quickly say my advice always with tea weeks is don't buy these shirts expecting like out the gate profit but if you get double XL smalls XLs those are the best sizes to grab double XL is probably the only one that will have like right away profit but those are gonna be flying off the site so you're gonna have to get a kind of smaller cart if you're going for them I'll probably be going for for XLs and smalls um, and good colorways. You're going to want the blacks, the browns. The browns have been hot this season. Um, the olives, like this rocker tea and olive we're about to talk about, looking super promising. Avoid camo. Never cop a camo t-shirt ever from this brand. Like, you're, if you do, get help. But I do got to say, they got the Marv Car Whip. Like, I, I have that on my hat usually. Is that a sign? No, this brand hates me. What am I talking about? All right, let's move on to the rocker tea. Now, everyone thought this was going to be a Charlie Brown shirt. It kind of is, but this is more so like Charlie Brown's cousin he's not allowed to hang out with because he smokes cigarettes and talks back to his parents so I mean it's a it's a dope shirt bro I can't even get it twisted this is actually a pretty sick graphic would have been kind of cool on a hat I'm gonna just put that out there I am a little bummed out they didn't add some color to this one it would have made me like it even more but um, this olive colorway it's looking pretty promising I'm probably gonna be picking one of these up I might even keep it for the personal which I have not done with a supreme t-shirt since the Yoji Yamamoto collab the tees just don't fit too nice for me so I have to love the design to actually cop it and there is a t-shirt in here I'm nutting over boys so we'll get to it shattered logo crew neck <laughs> What? Like, never, bro. Never, never, never. Never in a million years. Let's go on to this belly shirt. Now, I'm not too crazy a fan of this one, because as I said earlier in the year, I've still never seen this movie. I'm sorry. I still haven't watched it. Um, I don't know. It, I just don't care about it. I'm sorry to the people that offends, man. I haven't even seen that Squid Game show. Like, I'm telling you guys, I really don't watch TV shows or movies. I just, <laughs> I play 2K. 
And y'all don't want to see my stretch on the court. That's all I know. But I do think it's a cool design and all. I mean, it's just a screenshot from the movie with the box logo graphic. You can't really get it wrong. I can appreciate they put a little back print on this as well. You do have to keep in mind um, the Nas DMX jacket they did actually performed really nicely, but that also had that embroidered logo hood, which really helped it out. I would not expect much profit from this. Really only go for like the black color, like an XL, small double XL. That's where you're really going to get profit. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit expensive. So um, I don't know, man. I still will probably get one of them, but I'm pretty doubtful of this one having much profit. It's going to take a long time. It's going to have to age. A lot of these tees in general, you're going to have to hold on to. Really briefly, Gon's name tag beanie, brown color, and the teal. Those are the two I'm getting a good vibe from if these are cheap enough. Black's always a good option. Pink as well. Um, these probably will sell out in those colors, but yeah, not really anything to get much profit with. Just a multi-cart item if you're trying to get free shipping. I'm going to skip these other items for now. Let's go keep talking about the shirts now. Oh my fucking lord, bro. Support Unity. This shit is Damn, so son, fire, dog. If you guys are hating this? on this one, like, stop. Just, I don't know how you could tell me this is an ugly shirt. I mean, I know how you could say it, but I'm personally offended if you guys are hating on this one. I think this is by far the sickest shirt done by that man Stash. And if you guys don't know who Stash is, I'm going to give you a quick little history lesson. Actually, a really fun fact about him. He's the first person to ever put Kaz's little companion designs on clothing. Um, he's an OG in the New York graffiti community. Now does his own brand, Subwear. He's been doing for the minute. And I've already seen a picture of the color that I think is an olive that looks amazing for this shirt. This baby blue is pretty valid as well. We're going to be getting one of these. Maybe even two of these, man. I'm going nuts over these. Uh, wild style. Like, I do wish it wasn't a little pocket logo like that, but... This is definitely my favorite shirt and one of my favorite tees I've seen from Supreme in a while. Next up is the connected tee and this one grosses me out. Like how do you mess up just a basic logo tee? I don't know. They found a way. This almost reminds me of like an Eminem album cover from like the 2000s because I'm pretty sure he did like the backwards E's like this and shit. I don't know. I hate this one. If there's a brown color, maybe in like XL because it's a logo tee, but I really don't expect much from it, man. Pretty disgusting shirt. Uh, we got the face tee, which I don't think I got to tell y'all. This is the weirdest shit, bro. Like, no, it's just not working for me. I'm really not digging this one way too loud, man. And then we got the sticker tee, which again is just like, what even, bro? Like, um, it's so tiny. This one is just like, why even purchase this, man? It's a little tiny ass dot. Like, I don't need some crazy logo or anything, but... I need something more than this, dog. Like, I'm just not feeling this one at all. It's so, it couldn't be more basic. Like, I could take a poop and it would look better than this on a t-shirt. That's actually probably not true. I don't know why. All right, uh, let's keep going with the last shirt, the Monster T, which this light blue color they chose to show off is absolutely atrocious. I'm not gonna deny that. But my boy Weirdo Dave did this one, so I'm not even gonna hate on it. And I actually do like, I think it was like the brown colorway I saw in the lookbook photos. That color looked a lot better, but at the end of the day, this should have been like a small Supreme logo on the front with the words on the back. They've done that recipe for several tees before. This is just too loud for the front side. It's not the worst though, all right? Don't, don't hate on it too hard, guys. Calm down. It's Weirdo Dave, all right? So don't hate on my man. But that does it for the t-shirts. I am going to be skipping like half of these tees, but it's not the worst tee week. I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, maybe even like a 6.5 just because I am nutty over this rocker tee as well as the support one. But let's go through the rest of the stuff this week. Um, the Shattered Logo Crew Neck, never in a billion years. These bicycle lights are actually kind of hard, man. I don't really have a bike to use these on, but... Man, if I did, I would definitely cop them. They're probably gonna be expensive, but the fact that it's a set of two is actually gonna help them out, I think. Just because that means you could probably sell the other one if you wanna keep one for yourself. Um, and people probably won't wanna buy this set. They'll probably just want one of them. So I actually think these could be a decent hold item or actually a better profit than we expect. But it does depend on stock size. If it's huge, they're gonna sit for a while. These are all right. I just don't like the backside. I wish it didn't have the quit your job shit on it, man. Like, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this one, to be honest. It's kind of random to me. It probably will be cheaper though. So if you're looking for like a casual fall jacket, not the worst option. I do love quilted jackets, but ah, oh, man, I'm just bummed on that design. We have the eyes pin. I ain't gotta say it, boys. Like, you already know I'm copping one of these. 
probably not gonna have any profit like that, like 20 bucks or so. Not a bad multi card, but this is pretty much for the personal. Um, now these Celtic Not Reversible Fleece. This is an interesting one for sure. I'm not so in love with the graphic on this. It's kind of a disappointer because I'm actually hyped they're doing these hooded fleeces. I think they're way sicker than the normal fleece they do. Um, it does kill me though that they're doing this print. There's so many better prints they could have done for these in my opinion. If I were to buy one, I'd probably get the gray color. The pink's kind of cool too, sort of like a watermelon color. The other two, I'm not feeling, but um, yeah, I would probably lay off these for resell, you guys. Like, maybe an XL. It does help. It has a little Supreme right there. They usually do not have that on these fleeces. So, maybe an XL, man. Um, this is kind of like the risk item of the week. It could outperform what I'm expecting them to. It should be a little more expensive retail since it does have a hood like 228 maybe 248 So, I'll probably be skipping on these. I do actually really dig this. I might end up regretting not getting this gray one. The more I look at it, I'm like, fuck, bro. I wish it wasn't a T-Week, but I'll probably be skipping on these XL I would not be shocked to see actually do decent if you hold it for a little bit next up we got these ridiculous soccer jerseys I'm actually digging these so much and I don't know the last time or if I've ever said that about a soccer jersey um, with Supreme these are crazy though man this pink one without a doubt is my favorite I don't love the font they used on the Supreme I don't even know if it needed the Supreme I think this could have been even cooler if it was just blank on the front maybe the basic Supreme logo and white on the back that they used for like the Emilio Pucci collab I'm not digging this color I don't really see profit to be real with you guys like maybe on this pink one like XL or something it's definitely a risk though to be honest next up is the two-tone hooded sweatshirts I just I hate the logo on this so much man next up we have the monogram items are finally releasing of course uh, they didn't want to drop these on a dead week they're like oh here's a bunch of t-shirts and other shit so you're not gonna have the money to also buy these like $200 painter pants I'm pretty bummed about that boys like I don't even think I'm gonna get a pair of these double knees in blue now I just had to pay rent that's why I'm like down bad I'm not trying to drop a crazy bag this week but there's some expensive items with potential uh, these in blue I'm pretty positive are gonna be one of if not the best resale item of the week and you're definitely not gonna have to hold these very long either they'll be having profit by the end of the season if you're still sleeping on the double knees in blue I mean just go to bed like make your bed by this point because I don't know how to wake you up chief these are without a doubt in my mind in the blue color one of the best items of the week size 36 like if you know you know man best size for pants uh, but we also got the monogram denim shirt this one I'm not as confident these being double knee helps them out a ton this in blue and XL is not the worst cop it could have some potential but if you're gonna get one bro get the pants like I'm gonna do you a favor and tell you that right now we got the velvet camp cap uh, maybe in like this purple or black man maybe even the olive but I'm gonna skip these I don't know they're probably gonna be 54 I don't usually skip on the camp caps but I think these are skippable maybe that black though if you really want to we got the star collar long sleeves um, and black is probably the only one I'd recommend and sell it kind of fast I got one of these in XL from like a season ago and it was doing really good but it's kind of fallen off with sales because it's been so long so if you do get one of these in like XL only uh, sell it kind of quickly man dollar beanies I think are kind of cool but they're not gonna have any profit and oh my sweet Atlanta bro y'all knew I was gonna talk about this bro my favorite item of this season me and my boy Dave some weirdos man I know probably half you guys think this shit's disgusting that's okay like you do not have to like this hoodie I'm so in love with it man I might as well get the shirt to show you guys if you guys have followed me for a while you already know weirdo Dave is my boo thing bro like I probably one of my favorite all-time collabs from Supreme pretty obscure back from 2007 I want to say how am I forgetting man but if there's ever been a sign to me that Supreme is in any way in touch with my videos it is this hoodie because I have talked about this design for so long it took me years to find those shirts for a decent price I'm so geeked that they're actually bringing back a weirdo Dave collab never ever thought I would see it and it does make me think I'm just like okay Supreme I see you bro I'm not complaining though don't get me wrong I'm super glad some people get to cop this stuff brown color did I need to say it brown or gray my two favorites every color I honestly enjoy I do kind of wish we got like a purple with some of these blues like that might have gone crazy but uh, yeah this is without a doubt going in my first cart I like I need to get this hoodie bro I'm so excited for it legit my favorite item of the season you guys know that by now I've been talking
talking about this all year. Let's go, bro. I'm so glad it's getting downvoted too. Like, just please sleep. So some of you are probably cringing at me loving this so much, but I can't help it, man. Um, we got these horrific fleece pants, never in a billion years, and some terrible hat made by Supreme Spain. So that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Definitely a pretty big week. I'm kind of bummed they're dropping some of the items that are coming out this week because it's too much for my wallet to handle. Best items of the week, double knees in blue, probably my best item for resale. If you're going t-shirts, um, I'd probably go rocker tee. Uh, I still think the support unit tee is a slept on one, but it might be my bias to be honest. Belly in black is not a bad one, especially like XL, double X, like that's gonna be a cook. Crash tee is not a bad one to get in like double XL, XL, small, but some of these shirts are definitely skippable, man. In general, it's not like the craziest resale week, but I don't know, I'm excited about it because there's actually some really solid personal items I wanna pick up so let me know what you guys are gonna cop it's been your boy Boone if you guys want a more in-depth resale analysis as well as those copying tools I talked about um, go sign up with browser I'll see you guys in chat I'll see you on the next one as well man live cop this Thursday and I do have some other videos to post this weekend and I'm definitely posting them I'm not capping with you guys no more Boone is back baby let's go I'll see y'all later it's been your boy Boone. I am out of breath I'm out peace <laughs>